you know, outside of that game, he's been outstanding. And so good opportunity to see how he responds after a tough outing. An unusual offense that they run as well. He's going to keep that, stay on his feet. Finally taken down by Marquise Waters. Who he faked the football to is the lead blocker. Kind of trying to bounce outside, getting across the 50-yard line. And stopped by Singleton, but he's going to pick up the first down. The head coach and offensive coordinator, they've developed something that nobody else is doing, Dave. And I think college football has been around 150 years. Got to give credit to the creativity of what these guys are doing. And we're trying to dance on that left side. Picks up two yards. You, know, you normally see people copying other teams around the league. But really what Wake Forest is doing is completely unique, brand new, and it's their own creation. And Wake Forest is the second least penalized team in the nation. Only 38 times over their last 10 games and bouncing outside. The quarterback will get that first down. Jamie Newman so dangerous, finally taken down by Singleton, but a nine-yard game. Is the ball carrier because of that long mesh point quarterback follow. Carney. He's taken down by Waters, his second tackle. Did not get an inch on that play. Now, he has yet to throw the football. Every play has been a run. This one will be two. Looking to scoot inside, but he is bottled up by McSwain. Third down, seven. On uh, the first Demon Deacon drive of the night. I'm going to keep it again, but he is tripped up right there at the 30-yard line, stopped by Kwanzaa. Played through some injuries this year, and he's well-respected on that Duke defense. How about this now? Uh, fourth down and seven. They're going to go for it. Fourth and seven for Newman. Let's see if he puts it in the air here. Looking to do that. Looking toward that sideline. He fires that one off of Hinton's hands and incomplete. Turning the football over. That's been a giant issue for the Duke Blue Devils on a carry. Here's Carney. Tied up by Kwanzaa. Very, very tough, rugged runner. He'll get the carry again. Left side this time. Nothing doing. Push back. In the driving rain. Newman. Oh, down he goes. He took a nasty hit. They could be in the mix for that. So a lot up in the air, and it would be a huge accomplishment to be playing in the Orange Bowl for any of those teams. And by the way, Virginia has lost 15 in a row to Virginia Tech going into that giant game. No room to run on that left side for Kenny Walker. And so it's a credit to the programs, especially the way some of them started. Bowman looking for the middle. No seam there as he is bottled up. In front of a very small but hearty gathering. Newman looks to throw on the pump. Drills that one, and that's complete. Catch by Hinton. He'll pick up the first down before Blackwell stops him. Gain of 13. As you're under pressure and a good throw into the body of your receiver, that's good quarterback play. Walker busting a couple of tackles. Still up and down, finally. Maybe Kenneth Walker is getting a lot of carries. He'll try to dance outside and pick up some yardage here. Still on his feet, breaking free again. Boy, he is very slippery. Better just not wrapping up. And there'll never be a time where a quarterback blocks where you are not going to notice that, and that's a first down gain. We may see it quite a bit from Jamie Newman. Again, it's Walker staying up. Tough to take down on that first hit. You know, Dave Clawson's probably going to play some guys who have not played very much this year. Walker is one of those guys as he will dive ahead. And another nice gain. Maybe a bit lost as far as what to play for at this point. Okay, Carney back in there at the running back. Very punishing, but Newman will keep. And he is met by Gagnon, who will take him down. And with the way that Wake's been running the football, I would expect McIrary, the defensive coordinator for Duke, to just start bringing people, get guys involved in the run game, move people down the box, and basically... For the Demon Deacons, trying to pick up their eighth victory of the season here tonight, trying to do it at home. 
Newman to throw. Looking over the center. Short pass, and that one's complete. Caught by Stephen Claude. What a story about him today. Wake Forest just punched in the face. And Newman right up the middle. He will gain three yards on that carry for a touchdown. So Wake with the football, more pressure on the quarterback with a handoff in time. That one to Walker, but nothing there for him. Newman checking with the sideline. Looking to throw. And now has to move out of the pocket on his feet, trying to dance outside. They get to him. Second turnover tonight for the Blue Devils. Put it on the ground two times in these wet conditions. And down goes the quarterback, Newman, as they erase him. There's too much power to the quarterback. Yet another running play, and Hayward with the stop on Cade Carney. Um, I don't think they needed. I don't think they needed that. You know, they worked hard all week. Uh, they, pre they prepared the same way they do every week. Um, I don't think they needed that. I think they always ready to play. For you personally, you could probably say, and you know, it's, it's been tough, and, and the other guys need to step up. You know, depth was already going to be an issue at the top of the season, intended for Hinton, but overthrown. It was a bit overthrown, but I don't know if maybe it was a shot had he seen the ball earlier and tracked it better. Kwanzaa, by the way, already with seven tackles in this game. Here's Newman finding some room on that left side, and he'll pick up a first down, a tough run by the quarterback. ACC leader in total offense per game, nearly 300 yards per game for him, both running and passing. Second down, six. Newman jumping inside, and he stopped. Gain of three. To keep going like this. They also do a really good job of taking care of the football. They almost never fumble, for example. That's a very tough catch on the sideline here by Stephen Claude. So Wake picks up the first down and on the move, trailing 10 to 3. Rolling right to him and he'll throw and a bobble on that one and nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. Broken up by guess who? Kobe Kwanzaa. To secure the football. That's true. Two broken thumbs. So he catches no break on that one. On the carry is Kenneth Walker. Just not maybe as efficient in trying to intercept the ball. Certainly not on that occasion. Here's the run, though. The quarterback, Newman, heading for the end zone. He scampers in for the touchdown from 42 yards. Dylan Singleton missed a tackle, and that really cost the Duke Blue Devils. He'll take the snap. Trying to negotiate right into the center of the line. Stopped by Marquis Waters after a gain of two. Basically, Matt Career, you know, daring Wake Forest to, to try some of these receivers on the perimeter. Short toss complete to Funthal, the tight end, and a first down. Dave Carney back in as the running back with Newman. Will look to throw, has some time in the pocket. And throwing long, intended for him. He makes the catch on the back pedal. Hinton, the fifth-year man, former quarterback. And now a dangerous wide receiver flag here. 5.05 to go in the half. Ball start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. First down. Has been perfect for this Wake Forest offense. In the last several weeks, he has really stepped it up, particularly with those big injuries to the wide receivers. Carney finding a hole across the 30. Woody, you know, got it moved from wide receiver, excuse me, quarterback to wide receiver. Could play in the slot, great feel. And, and may be done for the night. As Carney flares off to the left as a receiver, Newman straight up the gut. Boy, he is a very hard-nosed runner and tough to bring down on that first hit. Picks up a first down and hard earned. First and ten. Carney dancing to his left and stopped. He dives in. Hayward gets credit for the tackle. They're into the red zone. All by himself. Newman will air it out. And that's going to be complete to Hinton. Looking for a block. And he is finally bottled up by the Duke Blue Devils. 
Both Hinton and Claude, the wideouts to the right side. Carney in the backfield with Newman. Out of the shotgun. Looking to throw and off the hands of his receiver, Hinton, who was covered by Singleton. Let's see if he decides to air it out, working out of the shotgun. He's going to throw incomplete, skipped it, intended for Donovan Green. They're excited about what he can do, and they, you know, they think he's as talented physically as anybody on their roster. That jumps out his right. He is a 39-inch vertical. Nowhere for Carney to run. He stays on his feet before Haywood brings him down. He will gain two. Jamie Newman. And flag here. And a procedure penalty. Ball start. Offense. Number 73. Since the clock was running, this qualifies for a 10-second runoff. I was still trying to get together on this. Duke doesn't want the 10 second runoff. Third down. All right, so we'll bring up third down. Newman handing off for Carney. They'll cut back the other way. Another tough run for Cade Carney before Michael Carter got in there and tackled him. That's a pickup of eight. On offense, let's play every down. Let's not drop passes. Let's block people. I can't wait to see what's getting ready to happen with Duke football right now. To only be down three points. They sure are. With the way the first half went. Second and three after seven yard gain there by Jamie Newman. Try to pick up the first down, takes a hit, and he'll land shy of that. Stopped by Shaka Hayward. Third down and one. Hinton in motion. Newman will keep it. First down for him as he bounces outside. You talk about, you know. Bringing your own energy and juice there. A third and down situation like that. You've defended 40 runs. You're more competitive for Duke. He'll go airborne. He's going for a long strike. He's got Hinton. Hinton with the catch. Gets away from a tackler. He is into the end zone. An electrifying play, 62 yards. You don't have a year like Jamie Newman is having without a good player at left tackle. And Wade certainly has that. Firing over the middle, incomplete. He wanted Hinton. It was cool to see that even in the rain here at Wake Forest. Yeah, it was coming down pretty good at that time. Pass zipped to Frunthal, the tight end. And a lot of pushing and shoving after the play ends. A seven-yard pickup. Third down, three for Wake Forest. Newman looking to throw again. Time throws that one complete for a first down. Frudenthal again, this time nine yards. Fender and then Frudenthal, good job extending his arms to get the ball. Walker looking to get the edge outside, forced out of bounds. And their tempo it is continues to give fits to this Duke defense. Walker surveying as he was running to the right. Tangelo with a tackle. There's great patience, and I think it's also a testament to the offensive line. He'll keep it. He'll throw it. He has a man, but it's overthrown. Intended for Claude. But the pass too long by Jamie Newman. His 23 touchdown passes this season. Second down and 10. And again, that unusual look and trying to break free. It's Walker. Walker to the outside again before he's dragged down after a big first down game there. But a flag down. Office number 75. 10-yard penalty. Second down. So second down and 20. Carney in at the back. Norman will throw this one toward the sideline and broke it up. He wanted Hinton, but stopped by Michael Carter, the safety. And Sage Serrata is out for the season with a shoulder injury. That pocket breaking down a bit. He has nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, and he is taken down. Jimmy KG will get credit for that sack. Probably more of an opportunity to drive that football more and put it right on Aaron Young. Taylor with his first career interception. 
And a bounce outside here by Walker. Walker to the sideline, gets to the 50-yard line before he is shoved out of bounds. Walker to you know, get out to the perimeter and pick up a nice game. Walker with another carry, trying the other side. They string him out. He stays up and dives ahead. Looked like that was going absolutely nowhere. Waters gets credit for the tackle. It will be second down at eight. And flags down. Ball start. Offense number 59. Five yard penalty. Second down. Get outside and you're able to pick up a nice, a nice game. Second and 13. Newman keeping. He has done that for some big gains tonight. Stop on that play after a pick of a four. Third and nine. Under three minutes to go in the third. In the pocket to throw and a short one. And that's complete to Jones. Jones to the 30-yard line before he is pushed back by Michael Carter. And a 14-yard gain. It's a nice play call and a nice pickup. For a first down. No room there for Newman to negotiate as Rump is there to meet him. Newman hands it to Walker. Bounces away from one tackler. To the sideline. Straight ahead and out he goes. Now trying to knock off the rival Duke Blue Devils. Now the pass batted away. It sounds like they got it. On the carry, Newman trying to gain straight ahead yards. He's stopped by Leonard Johnson. He will pick up four on that carry. Newman on the pump fake, trying to get free now. Now pitches it back here for Carney. And Carney straight on takes pretty good knock there from Kwanzaa. He's had a great night. It's another hit carrying the football. Third down, six. He fires it over the middle and a complete pass across the 40-yard line to Claude. That's really why that ball was completed. Look at Carney way off there on the edge of the screen, far left, the running back. <laughs> Newman taking the snap. Thrown over the middle again. Hinton with a catch. And Hinton a first down. Kendall Hinton 19 yards on that play. Wakes moved him around to get him involved in the passing game any way they can. And off to Kay Carney, the senior. Jamie Newman, the junior quarterback, to keep this slicing through. He picks up a first, looking for more than that. Still on his feet. On, well, yes, a determined run to put it mildly. And that a career high for Newman. Walker looking for room to the outside. Tied up by Gagnon. Can really wreak havoc, too, on the defense. Second down and nine. And it's Newman. Bouncing off a couple of tackles ahead of the five-yard line. Back for Carney. Nothing doing for him. He is stacked up. Newman scampering to the left. And he will be stopped on that play by McSwain after a pickup of four yards. He has thrown for 191 so far this evening. He'll throw again. Nice catch by Hinton. Hinton breaks it. He's across the 40. Down to the 20-yard line. And out of bounds as he is shoved out by Blackwell. First and 10. On the carry, Walker, Walker across the five, he's still up into the end zone for a touchdown! 14-yard touchdown run for Kenneth Walker. And what an answer by Wake Forest. Carney there alongside Newman. And blown dead, a flag down. Microphone not functioning. 
Well, the delay. So looking for that two-point conversion, backed up after the delay of game. Newman for the end zone, throws and it's batted down, incomplete. Broken up by Shaka Hayward, but there is a flag down. That personal foul here against the Duke Blue Devils. Oh, you're darn right, that was interesting. It's a fascinating offensive look, and no one else does it. Doesn't gain them anything here, that's for sure, but... But their scheme has helped them. Second down, 11, and incomplete. Over the head of the tumbling Kenneth Walker. Third and 11. Newman with pressure on him, gets it away, he fires downfield, and a tremendous catch made by Green. A flag is down on the play, but a one-handed grab by the freshman. So first and ten in Duke territory. Newman with the carry, and stopped by Hayward. Green showing up in a big way. And off for... Well, Newman will keep it. He's going to stay up and stop by Kobe Kwanzaa. Hinton, who was once a quarterback, he will keep it and try and run with it. And gets a pretty good gain there, diving to the right. Fourth down and one. Carney, the running back. Coming up on five minutes to play here in a close one. Claude in motion. And off for Carney. Carney busts ahead. First down and then some. Make Duke defend all of these rounds. Carney straight on for the game. He'll collect five. Break a team that almost never fumbles the football. There's a hole on the left side. He'll bounce, trying for the end zone. He dives. And did he get in? Yes, he's in for the touchdown. Carney with the handoff he is stacked up stopped by Josh Blackwell the Demon Deacons going the other way Carney dancing a little bit down he goes 